Hello there, I'm here and I'm back with some more computercraft. Today I'll continue the game I actually started last time, and I got several requests on which game it should pro actually be. I got Mind Reaper, Pong, Pac-Man, and Texas Hold'em. I decided I would do Mind Reaper because it is the most realistic game uh, I could do for at least the first episode. Now don't worry, I'll try to make the other games in some future episodes, because this is only episode 1 and I'll try to do as many episodes as possible. Now then, let's start right away by declaring a few variables and then we're going to do the init function. This is all I'm going to do today. Now first things first, we want to initialize a whole bunch of variables to actually s well indicate stuff like the wide for the screen, the number of mines, stuff like that. So local, local, yes and we will going to call it max w and max h which will be for the max wide and the max height of the screen so we do term dot get size this will return the size of the screen so the wide and the height like that perfecto next actually what we're going yes we're going to declare an offset that is that means basically well if you ma imagine the grid of all the mines, it will not stop at coordinates. Well, it will not be at coordinates one one. It will actually start um, with a slight offset. So yeah, I'm going to declare a variable. I'll call it off, and the offset will be of two, two pixels, or something like that. Then we can actually change max w and max h because we don't want the rectangle to take all the space, and we're going to call do max w equal max w minus 2 times off like that and we do pretty much the same for max h so max h equal max h minus 2 tam times with symbol off like that cool then we want to actually declare two more variables which will be the actual width and height of the of the grid because what I will actually add at the beginning of the game is you will choose the the wide and the height of the game you want it actually to be. So there. What we're gonna do is 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 local w and h. Now um, right away I should show you I am actually a bit sorry because I have this terrible programming habit is uh, it's basically I do not declare variables properly. I actually will give tiny names and they don't indicate properly what the um, what the variable actually means. So if you actually want to get serious in programming, I think you should at least well try to name variables in such a way that they w when you read the variable name, you know what it's going to be. So I I must say I'm sorry, but yeah, uh, let's do w equal ten and h will be 10 too. And finally, I think we need two more things. Local num, this will be actually the number of mines in total, and I'll put 10. Finally, we want the grid, which is basically going to be what's going to be displayed where, uh, during the game. So it will be where, well, where you have not clicked, where you have clicked, the numbers, the mines, everything. So there. It's going to be a table, a two-dimension table. I don't think I've done a tutorial on how to make a double-dimension table. So this could be a great occasion in your for you guys to learn. We want two loops, one side of the other. So first one is 4j equal 1 going to double, uh, no, actually max w. And do, yeah, cool. The other loop inside will be 4 Actually, oh, I keep doing the mistake. It's not max W, it's max H for the J. So 4 I equal 1 to max w, max w. Do and go. So before the I loop, you want to create a new table. Because grid will be a table which contains table, which contains strings, and those strings will indicate what there is a specific coordinate. So you, you'll understand later on the tutorial, at least. So what we want to do is grid at position j 
will take the value of a new table like that. And finally, inside here, you do grid j i. So you have to start by j and then i, otherwise it won't work. And it will take the value of an empty string, well, just a space. Space will probably mean something like there's, well, there's nothing. Or maybe you haven't clicked on this, something like that. Uh, I'll have to figure that out later on. But yeah, uh, I guess M will mean mine, U will mean unchecked mine, stuff like that. And uh, a, a number will mean basically the number of mines nearby. That should be like, that should be normal code. So yeah, now we can actually go to initializing everything. So, first of all, we want to repeat this piece of code right here, because supposing you have several games in a row, you want to reset the grid to uh, well its original state, and you want to generate all the mines. So let's start by actually resetting the map to its original state. For j equal 1, I'm going to w to h this time, because it's a we will only reset the, the grid where we need it to be resetted. Uh, whoops. For i equal one, going to w. Do and and we'll do grid like last time. The position j i. We'll take the value of a space like that. So that will basically reset the string as you want it to be. Then we want to generate the mines, and we have land one little constri constraint, which is basically we want exactly 10 mines in this case. Because, I, though I put 10, supposing you randomly generate 10 mines and uh, do no proper checking, there may be a slim chance that you generate twice a mine of the same position, and that you do not want. So what we're going to do is for i equal 1 going to num, so generate num mines in this case it would be 10 we're going to call another while loop, actually not a while loop it's um, some a bit similar basically while loop there's a condition of the beginning to enter the loop whereas uh, the loop I'm going to use here which is repeat uh, the condition is checked after you exit the loop so you that basically means it will go through the loop at least once. And the other keyword is until. Then you put the, the condition itself, which will be grid the position x. Let's call it yx. So we have to declare two new variables, actually. Is equal to an empty space, like that. And what we're going to do is local x, y. There we have x will be, take the value of math.random, and this will basically generate a random value. And as arguments, you start the minimum value, that will be 1, and the maximum, which will be w. y is pretty much the same. So y equal math.random between 1 and h. There we go, There's, that should do it. And it will generate 10, 10 of everything. So yeah, that will be all for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please take the time to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any ideas of games, I'm always interested in knowing because uh, I would like this series to keep on going as long as possible. I have so far probably 6 ideas of game, including, mi uh, including Minesweeper. Let's see if we can come up with anything else. So, uh, since this is the end, I'll be saying goodbye and see you next time.